Good evening. Tonight, Chelsea continue their bid to follow Manchester City as winners of the European Cup Winners' Cup, Europe's most, uh, second most important club tournament. Their opponents are Real Madrid, and of course, tonight's match is the replay of the game on Wednesday night. We just saw the Real Madrid team, in fact, we're looking at them there. And the significant thing about that lineup that we saw is that Piri, who broke his uh, wrist in the first match, is fit and plays. The team news of the other side of uh, Chelsea is that uh, John Hollins, as expected, isn't fit, but uh, John Boyle comes into the side, and also Charlie Cook will wear, I think, is going to wear the number four shirt. Anyway, uh, they're back to the lineup that they had against Manchester City when they came through so well in the semi final. We're still waiting to uh, make contact with Kenneth Wilson home. It looks uh, quite a, a sunny uh, evening. The two captains, Ron Harris there on the left of uh, Chelsea. He really must have been the most disappointed man because the uh, police were all around the stadium in Athens waiting to line up the two teams for uh, Harris to uh, gain the trophy when Zocco got that goal literally with the last kick of the normal 90 minutes. The referee... Wait, just uh, lining up the two teams. Real Madrid in all white and, of course, the most experienced side uh, in European competition, having been in eight finals of the European Cup. But uh, they have uh, need to win this match in the European Cup Winners' Cup in order to stay in Europe. They've had such a long run in there, but uh, if they don't beat Chelsea, then they're out. This is the man, Peter Osgood, there, who scored the goal, which looked as though it had taken Chelsea to uh, victory. Uh, Peter Osgood, who's been out of the side for so long during the course of the season, particularly the back end with injuries, and of course he had the long time out uh, with suspension. But it's going to be Chelsea in the uh, old dark kid who are going to send this game away, playing without John Hollins. Real Madrid, they've got four players in the side, uh, 30 years and over. So the uh, pressure's on them for the second match in 48 hours, presumably greater than on Chelsea. But it's an uh, interesting psychological point as to which side suffers most or gains most from uh, the uh, problem of the late equaliser. But I gather we've now got Kenneth Wilson home, so we can go to him for the kickoff. And you join us in the Karakaiskis Stadium in Athens, just as Chelsea prepared to kick off in the replay of the European Cup Winners' Cup final. The news of their team is that Cook has come in at number four or moved back to number four, Baldwin is number eight, Hudson number ten. Otherwise, the same side we saw just be pipped on the post on Wednesday. Osgood. And Jose Luis getting it away. Quickly, the Chelsea team. Benetti number one, Boyle number two, Harris, the captain, number three, taking the throw in, Hausman. Cook is number four, Dempsey five, Webb six. And Hausman being penalised. Weller is number seven, Baldwin eight, Osgood nine, Hudson ten, Hausman eleven. And as soon as possible, I give you the rail side. But the big news is that Piri, we all thought had broken his arm, is playing. Now, Amancio. Osgood back to Baldwin. Now, Osgood. And again, an abridgment by Chelsea, free kick to Real Madrid. Pleasant evening after another very hot day. Temperatures fizzling into the 80s. The ground very, very hard despite of watering this morning. Later. Helping the defence with Flaters. Keeping him under pressure, Flaters who came on as a substitute. Free kick to Chelsea. Free kick going to be taken by Webb. Real, who've got very few strikers in their side. In fact, their top goal scorer is Piri, a midfield player. Hutt, number 10. Now, the Real Madrid side, very quickly as they get this goal kick. In goal, Borja. Number 2, Jose Luis. 
Number three is Zunzinegi. Number four, Piri. Number five, Benito. Number six, Foco. Number seven, Flatus. Number eight, Amancio. Number nine, Grosso. Number ten, Velasquez. And number 11, Bueno. Cook. And Benito getting it clear. Hudson operating in midfield. Webb. Cook. Well, uh, to Webb. And a corner kick given away by Soko, this very strong, very experienced centre back. They say they tried watering it today, but water in this heat and in this sunshine is of no use at all. Peter Benetti, another man who had a great game on Wednesday night. Flaters. Zunfinegi. And again, caught in possession. It's Weller. A Baldwin. Finding Weller. And Weller was given offside, but nevertheless, he wasn't able to pull the ball back to... Osgood, who looks a little aggrieved at that decision. Six minutes gone, no score. Jose Luis for Real Madrid. Hudson forward to Osgood. Good bit of chasing back by Piri then. Now Webb. Up to Houseman. Joseph really settled down to play it in fine style. And Houseman brought down, tripped by Jose Luis. Free kick to Chelsea. And Webb coming up to the far side of the penalty area. Now moving towards the near post. And according to the referee, got his head to it. Referee, Mr. Bukele of... Switzerland given a goal kick. Number six there's Foco. Piri. Cook getting through the bed is a matter of work. So Hudson. Now Hausman. A throw to Chelsea. Could do with Ian Hutchinson in that situation. Hudson back to Harris. That's good seem to be pushed a bit there. Now Grosso getting it to Bueno. Bueno. And instead of Hento. Almost as, not quite as old as Hento. He's 31 and he's fouled. But Boyle. All these rail players very expert screening the ball and the English players tackling from behind who get penalized by a continental referee Webb Real playing with only Flatus and Amancio up front packed the midfield with four men Webb to Harris. Chelsea so far showing admirable control. Throw to Chelsea, who only been beaten once in the competition so far this season. That was when they lost in Bruges. Another foul by Jose Luis pushing Houseman in the back. Free kick to Chelsea. Ten minutes gone. No score. And Houseman to take the free kick. There's Webb. Walker relying on some fantastic speed from Bueno. He's no hope of reaching that one. Foco to 
Grosso with number nine that plays in midfield. Harris. Jose Luis with the throw for Real Madrid. Velasquez. Number four is Cook. Weller's got room on the right. This is Weller. Soko almost like a wall in this Real defense. Now plays more or less as a sweeper. Experience international. And Weller looks as if he's going to try a long one. Mancio. Mancio to Freitas. And Hudson moving it clear for Chelsea. But Benito keeping a very close watch on Osgood. Benito number five. Fontenegi. And Picked by Weller. A pretty good recovery. And Jose Luis was fouled by a houseboat, but nevertheless, he seemed to be taking a terrible risk in a cup final. Heading for the noise of the crowd, you think this match was taking place in Stamford Bridge, let alone the stadium in Athens. Harris. And an indirect free kick for Chelsea. Velasquez putting a foot up, a dangerous play. Harris to take it. And Flater's going to be spoken to by the referee for back healing the ball away like that. Ron Harris, number three for Chelsea. Flater. Houseman back to Harris. Now Houseman, number 11. Say Luis. Benito. Grosso. In rather so beat by Cook to Bella. Jose Luis, Tenegi, to Volasco. And the Slater, beat by Harris. The big Chelsea looking deep, fast aside, much nippier than Real. Jose, Lu Jose Luis appears to have lost his boot. And he's gone down holding his left knee and left foot that came off, uh, number 10, Velasquez. And a foul by Cook. Referee just having a word with Charlie Cook. And Jose Luis is rapidly putting on that left foot. This is the first time that the European final has taken place in Greece, Athens, but not the first time we've had a big sporting occasion here. This is the stadium where we had the 1969 European Athletic Championship. Baldwin being pushed in the back. So free kick to Chelsea. To Osgood. 
that the Chelsea not being overawed by Real's tremendous European reputation. Cook. And Cook brought down from behind. So it's a free kick to Chelsea. And Chelsea want to get this taken quickly and Real want to do all the delaying tactics they can. Quarter of an hour gone, no score. Hudson to take the free kick. Every Real Madrid player back. Harris is standing with Hudson. And Harris. Real Madrid, of course, have got a record second to none in the European Cup. This is the first time they've ever been in the European Cup Winners' Cup. But for the first six years, they were winners of the European Cup. Slater and Miles offside. Bueno, using to fetch the ball. Obviously realizing in a tense atmosphere of a cup tie, it's his job to get back him into position. Dempsey to take the free kick for Chelsea. Slater. Again, Chelsea tackling. Foul by Jose Luis on Houseman. No, the referee gives him the corner kick, so Hudson is coming up to take. And again, Real up again. Ten men back. Chelsea throwing Webb up, Dempsey up. Number ten, Hudson. Again, this long one out of defence, so uncharacteristic of the old Real Madrid style. Nobody up for them. Now it's Cook for Chelsea. Osgood. And Boyle filling a gap on the right. Bueno going back to challenge him. Not the last. Now, let's uh, wait for a quick burst down the middle, but the overkicking of Amancio and Faitas almost every time. And the locals reveling in the fact that Chelsea are commanding this game. Harris. Real fading space. Funneling back into defence. Hudson. Osgood. That couldn't have been very far from Weller. Now Baldwin. And Weller beats by the bounce on this very hard surface. Low kick to Real Madrid. Who, if they win tonight, will take this cup to Madrid for the second time in history. In 1962, Atletico Madrid won. But this really has been a competition dominated by British teams. Rangers were beaten finalists in 61, Spurs won in 63, West Ham in 65, Liverpool beaten finalists in 66, Rangers in 67, and Manchester City are the holders. Harris coming up for the throw for Chelsea. Hudson. Hudson with the throw. Dempsey moves right up into the penalty area. Chelsea trying to keep the pressure on Real all the time. Baldwin. Dempsey to Hudson. Osgood to Dempsey 
And there's Osgood. In comes Weller. Suddenly Weller having to pack their defence side. Cook almost with a rugby up and under. And yet another corner for Chelsea. And the Chelsea fans really on their feet now. And the Greek fans getting up with them because they feel that Chelsea of Real going backwards. Platus for Real. The man to watch, a man to hold. And he see they pushed in the back then. And he's looking terribly aggrieved that he's not got a penalty. Now Hudson is the first dangerous break we've seen from Real Madrid in 21 minutes. It almost produced a goal. Cook to Hudson. Hudson! And Hudson's gone down, rolling in agony. Tendencies these days for the game not to be stopped. Plato. And Weller is going to be penalised for putting a foot up. Dangerous play. And that's Alan Hudson who got the knock. And the referee's attention is being called to him. And the referee going to have a look at Hudson. And while he's walking up, this is a good time to tell you that sitting next to me in the commentary box, instead of wearing the number four shirt, is Johnny Holland. And we're very sorry Johnny's not out there playing, but how do you think it's going now, Johnny? I think uh, the lads are getting much quicker to the ball on uh, on Wednesday night. I think we, we gave them a bit more in in the game. We weren't quick enough to the ball, and now they are certainly taking it to them, and they can definitely win this match. What about this fellow Piri you can see now? We all thought he was going to be out of the game with that injury he got on Wednesday. Well, he seemed, he seemed pretty serious when he came over to the line late on in the second half. He had a lot of cold water put on it. And they said that he had definitely broken his arm. But, you can uh, see it's all bandaged up, guys. It looks oh, stiff when he runs with it. I don't mm. think he can run full out. Definitely. Anyway, Alan Hutt's all right again. And it's a free kick, an indirect free kick to Real Madrid. And incidentally, this... Match is being transmitted by one of your youngest television organizations, the Greek Television Service. Service, um, As yet, they haven't got color. Free kick to Real. The referee's looking at his lines, but now the lines has given the corner kick. The linesman who is on this side of the field has given a corner kick. And all the Real players thought it was a goal kick. They've gone back and now they've got to chase up. The big fellow Soko is coming up. But they're using the short corner to Flaters. The netty who picked up everything, every high ball on Wednesday night had a splendid match to Harris. Real make very little challenge in midfield. Osgood, number nine, to Baldwin. Trying to find Osgood, and again, it's Soko there for Real Madrid. There's a foul by Weller on Piri. Charlie Cook trotting back. Bueno. Now Piri, not seen much of him tonight. He saw an awful lot of him on Wednesday when he had a fine match. Grosser into Amancio. And one of the rare bad passes from Amancio. Now Hudson fighting Hudson. Harris, number three. Benito, but Willow lanes it very cleverly. That was well taken by Borja because 
Hudson was there to put him under pressure. Bueno. Mancio. They just watched these quick one two passes of Real Madrid. That's a flash of the old style of football they used to play. A cook. Giving it for Hudson. Number 10. 25 minutes gone and no score. Boyle. Hudson going outside him. Into Weller. Benito again. And the Chelsea, Chelsea tactics certainly working. They're keeping Real under a lot of pressure and making Real look a little bit on nerve. It's rather strange for a team with so much European experience. So many experienced players on the side. And Wayne wasn't 10 yards from the ball, that free kick. Again, the Chelsea big men have gone up, Dempsey. And Webb just outside the area, that Baldwin. So great has been the interest in Greece in this match that the weekly radio and television talk by the Prime Minister's Under-Secretary has been cancelled because of the transmission of this final replay. Grosso. Mancio. Chelsea have ripped the danger of this man, Mancio. They're keeping close to him and tackling him. Almost before the ball is there, they're in to try and intercept it and get it before you can get the ball under proper control. Johnny Boyle takes the throw for Chelsea. Suffering approach to the final were almost beaten. In fact, they were in one leg by Cardiff City. Webb trying to find Osgood. Mancio always there to pick up his long clearance to Peter to Amantio. Grosso to Jose Luis. What beautiful ball to Peter. No one in the middle as yet. It took a lot of. Lucia did Chelsea players, and this is where Real Madrid are falling down when they are coming on the attack. There's nobody there in a scoring position. Chelsea, much the younger side, might should be able to last the pace better. Later, Amancio. Rosso to St. Louis. Oh, Bueno not going in to meet the bounce, and you've got to on a ground as hard as this one. It's grass on the pitch, but my goodness, it's hard. They out throw. Status. Well, he hit that well. That's the first shot we've seen from Real Madrid, almost on the half hour. One coming wide from the Paraguayan-born Platos, who came on as a substitute in the first match on Wednesday. But now getting his place in the number seven shirt. There's two changes in the Real Madrid team. Seven, Platos coming in instead of Perez. And number 11, Bueno coming in instead of Hento, and that's the position. After 30 minutes played, no score. Certainly a match in which Chelsea have been in full control throughout the whole of the first half hour. Coco, the man they've got to beat if they want to score. Hudson. Hudson. 
Husband number 11. Cook going over to help him. And the referee waving play on, although Osgood is looking as if Baldwin was pushed in. Two of them going up with him, and now here's Webb on the break from Weller. And the corner kick. Well second by the goalkeeper, Porcher. There's Tommy Baldwin there to put him under pressure. Certainly Real Madrid not enjoying themselves in this Cup winners Cup final replay. Cook to take the corner. And Dempsey has scored! Well, Johnny Holland almost hit the roof when that one went in. Feeling a, a lot better, I should think, now, are you, Johnny? I can imagine John Dempsey's very pleased with that. Very pleased indeed. He had a similar one in the cup final at Wembley. And uh, I believe Sprake made a great save, so he'd be certainly pleased with that one. And there it is. Delighted Chelsea fans, but that's no more than Chelsea deserves. In this, the European Cup Winners' Cup final replay, they take the lead after 32 minutes. John Dempsey, the scorer. Well, that was a goal worth remembering, a fine volley by John Dempsey. And it was doubtful for this replay. Real Madrid have only had two men up all the match so far. They're going to have to throw somebody up if they're going to snatch an equaliser. Usman and the lines with his flag in the ball over the line. Throw to Real Madrid. Remember, another British club. The club is in another European final. Leeds United to play Juventus in the first final. Referee this time is just free kick to. Real Madrid. Coco to take the free kick. And the line's been is flat for offside. Flag went up immediately the ball was kicked. So it's free kick to Chelsea. So as you see, after 33 minutes, a one up, the goal scorer, the man who took the free kick then, Dempsey. Chelsea's first ever European final. And in comes Webb. He quickly to Cook. Hus giving Husband one to chase. Great difference between Wednesday night and tonight is the fact that Chelsea have got four men up front all the time. And Houseman has just couldn't pull his centre back to find Baldwin. Well, up. It's by Osgood. Where well, we thought that the hard ground is. Lively ball would be to the advantage of Real Madrid, proving that Chelsea are the ones who can tame both the ground and the ball. Toco. And that won't do. Free kick to Real Madrid. And Platos showing a little bit of South American temperament. Letting Harris know that he didn't like it. Velasquez. And Rosso moving into trial, put Benetti under pressure, but. Chelsea defence up to anything Real can throw at them at the moment. Ten minutes from half time. One nil for Chelsea. And Benito using his arms to get a bit of extra height. Free kick to 
Chelsea. Number 10 takes the free kick. And again, Benito getting up well. It's surprising one so small that he gets up so to such great height. This is Amancio. And Amancio slips by Webb, and Amancio will roll in agony. Not a bad player, though, Mr. Mancio, is he, Johnny? He's a very good player. He's very quick, good under under pressure, and I think this is where he caused us quite a lot of problems on Wednesday. We we were inclined to give him a bit too much room, but tonight we certainly haven't given them any room at all. And we, of course, we're pressurising them at the back. So. Well, a chance for Real to put a put a pressure on now with this free kick. To them, Chelsea have brought back ten men. Piri is up front, hardly seen him in the match at all. Coco and almost reaching Piri. First time we've really had to catch our breath a bit. It looked as if Coco might have found Piri with that header. Chelsea players have obviously been told to pace themselves. The temperature's not high this evening, it's pleasantly warm, but no, need, no sense in running out of steam in a match of such importance. And number four, Piri. Montenegro. Grosso. Velasquez will do well to keep that in, and he has done. But not too much avail. Harris using his back first, very, very sensibly. Baldwin. Back to Harris. Number eight, Baldwin. Osgood. And he scored! Osgood has done it! That was a beautiful shot. I thought he'd have gone wide, but he picked his spot and Osgood down, leaning down and just waving at the crowd. And so after 38 minutes, Osgood has made it two. So, Johnny, you're two up now, so you think Chelsea can afford to relax a wee bit? I don't think they can. I think we ought to go at them as we have done and not give up at all. That's a great goal there, Peter. Uh, Tommy Bullen made a great run there. I think they, the defence stopped thinking that Tommy Bullen was going to get the return. He did it similar Wednesday night and just put it in the corner of the net. Great goal. Well, that's pleased those fans have stayed over to see you. Yes. The 2-0 in Chelsea lead after 38 minutes. And certainly they played all the football. Oh. Amancio. Slater. Always signed. So the team is struggling and struggling badly is where the players start blaming each other for mistakes. The slate is number seven, then blamed the Mansfield for a bad pass. The net has had a trouble-free evening so far. In Benito getting up well to beat Baldwin. Grosso. Grosso to Bueno. And that was deflected by. I thought that was deflected. It seemed to change course, but the, the linesman was looked at by the referee and he did the signal, so. The goal kick. Cook 
behind. And that was rather silly of Cook to do that. That caused a wee bit of trouble now. So this is up to Mr. Bukele to sort it out. The usual spark sets off everything in these matches between British and Continental teams. Cook stripped from behind. Turned round, retaliated. And private wars breaking out all over the place with one or two peacemakers trying to calm them down. And the Chelsea fans still looking happy with that two-goal lead. It all ends with everybody patting themselves on the back. The crowd wondering why it ever started in the first place. Off we go with Harris, number three. Cook to Harris. Hudson, a lovely one to boil. Got a lot of room. Weller. And the linesman, the flag, the referee's given the decision. Weller pushing his man in the back. Quick free kick to Chelsea. Chelsea. Again, Benito getting up. Dawes good. They just can't get the ball away. Velasquez. Vetas. Velasquez again. Vetas. And Willer taking it clear to. Baldwin, Osgood, husband coming up on the left. Notice how Osgood had all the time and all the room to make up his mind what to do, and so rarely do we see Real Madrid getting the same amount of time, the same amount of room. Once again, boil overlapping into oceans of space. Not far from half time. A great night for Chelsea. No comparison their performance tonight with the one they put up on Wednesday. Later, Grosso, the last. Benetti finding Houseman. When one looks around with a Chelsea man in possession, there was but two men he could play the ball to, which tells its own story that Chelsea are so much in command, they're finding all the room they want. Giving Real absolutely nothing. Number seven, Keith Weller. Corner for Chelsea, given away by Soko. As the Chelsea fans have entertained the Greek fans. To what has now become the national aim of English soccer, you'll never walk alone. Almost half time. Houseman with the corner for Chelsea. Velasquez almost cheeky key. Here comes Cook, number four. Velasquez for Real. And the whistle goes for half time. A very fine first half by Chelsea, who went off on Wednesday not having played well. They were then nil-nil with Real Madrid. Real Madrid, but it's a different story now. Two up, and Johnny, this must be one of Chelsea's best performances of the season. It is. It's been very good considering the uh, 
pressure and the heat and the ground, it, it's very hard, difficult to control and I think the lads have done very well under pressure, very well. And the Real Madrid side come out now facing a mountainous task and if anybody uh, doubts the greatness of this Chelsea performance, remember that Real Madrid are the greatest competitors ever known in European football. For instance, there have been 16 European Cup finals, or there will have been, uh, come June the 2nd. And Real Madrid have been in eight of them, winning six. They won the first five in 56, 57, 58, 59 and 1960. They were runners-up in 62 and again in 64, and they won in 1966. So this team has got more experience than any other. But two goals from Chelsea, one by Peter Osgood looking straight at us now, a magnificent shot from just outside the box have set them back on their heels. Number nine is Grosso, Vasquez on this side of him, Mancio on the far side, and off Real go for the second half of the European Cup for the Cup final. Chelsea leading by two goals to nil. Bueno. Again, a good, strong tackling by the Chelsea team. Given Nothing away at all. Chelsea keeping so much pressure on Real Madrid that no one having a chance to uh, do anything at all in midfield. No one has a chance to create anything for Real. Bueno with the throw. Number five is Benito. Strong, solid defender, leaving the throw for Fontenegui. Two wingmen getting no change whatsoever from the Chelsea back. Weller, number seven. To Hudson, that was an neat dummy. To Weller. And Hudson, see how he's got himself free. Well taken, near post by Borja. That was a bit of a man feel brilliant. And a field for offside. Play waves on. And went there for Chelsea. He was so often in the first match on Wednesday. Well, I. wonder how long it will be before Miguel Munoz, the Real manager, brings on the substitute to try and make something of this match. And now Osgood beating Soko. And it's Benito having to come across to cover up the terrible laps. And they're like Soko making such a lapse in such an important match. Almost unbelievable. Chelsea waiting for Alan Hudson to go across to take the throw. Now Hudson gets the free kick. Jose Luis wrapping his leg around him. Noticeable that Webb has come up for this, but Dempsey has. Captain by. Zanegi, Clayton, not two, Amancio, Velasquez going on his right, and Cox, leading it well. Again, nothing coming from Real in midfield, but as soon as Chelsea gets possession, there are men running around, anxious for the ball. Well, if Osgood, Baldwin offside, back to the offside, three kicks to Real Madrid. Group to the final wasn't very impressive. They burned into Malta and they were held to a goalless draw in Malta. Banca of Innsbruck and they lost at home. Cardiff City where they lost away and then TSV Eindhoven where they drew away. So to Real Madrid. Say Luis take it for number two. And 
and a foul by Flatus on Harris. Having been rubbed by him. Chelsea pacing this match better than his sense of Nobody rushing around to take these free kicks. Later, Houseman going back to challenge him. And somebody hurt on the far side. It looks like Jose Luis who collided with Hudson as Hudson came through a few moments ago. Still feeling as confident as he looks. I still feel confident. They haven't uh, had any real breaks as yet, Real. The lads are still holding them very well at the back. Again, I think Amancio has still got to be watched. If, if he can just get a glimmer of uh, a chance, he'll he'll make them tick again. So if we can get on him early on, I think we can still hold out. So Jose Luis, all right, and here's Amancio in action. Finding Bueno. And that one was well past the Lorado did. It was Piri. Hardly been in the game. And look how he's holding that left arm very, very stiffly. Not thinking it about much. He's very heavily bandaged around the wrist. The wrist we all believed was broken. Piri is normally such a brave player, always getting into the tight situation. But he hasn't done in this match. Five minutes of the second half gone and Chelsea 2-0 in the lead. And here comes Osgood. Got Hausman there with him if he wants, wants to use him. And the flag up outside against Baldwin. Be interesting to see whether Real lose their confidence if they go on for about another 10 minutes or so and still have to pull the go back. Vasquez brought down by Hudson. Free kick to Real. Grosso. And Matthew, you see the quick tackle that Webb got in on him. Just give it, screening the ball, pulling it away from the defenders to give himself a bit of room. Well, that's again this quick Chelsea tackling. Any second now, we're going to have Grande come on for Real Madrid. But it's Houseman trying to burst his way through, and he's, he's got a corner, and on comes Grande, number 15 for Real Madrid. Grande coming on, there's yet nobody going off. There's Bueno going off. Bueno going off and running all the way around. The track as if he's going straight to the dressing group. There's Bueno number 11 going off. Houseman to take the corner kick. Number 11, Houseman. And again, Panito getting up to it. Piri gets it away. Real Madrid, just as they did in the second half of Wednesday when they fell behind, have now pushed Piri up into the forward line. Granted, a big fellow, number 15, has come on to try and look after midfield. Alston. And it's a throw-in 
The ball had been over the line. Chelsea moving into the interception so quickly. They're making what could be good passes by Real look bad ones. Say Louis. Here's Grande, number 15, in action. Later. And back comes Weller. It's so pleasing about Chelsea tonight that Real do set any sort of pressure. The front runners come back and do their sense defence. And has the whistle gone? No, it hasn't. And Osgood gives away a corner. I think he thought that the whistle had gone for a free kick for Chelsea. Noticeable that the fair head. Toko is coming in a, up in attack as well. They are prepared now to take risks. Johnny Boyle up to Hudson. Boyle even time to re-roll his sleeves up before he received that ball. Back with Hudson. Baldwin, well, are in the box, and here's Baldwin having come out of it, come close to Hudson. The left. Web just deflecting it away from Slater, so he gets it in a bad position. Grosso, Grosso to Grande. That was a similar situation to the one Peter Osgood had after 38 minutes. The difference being that Osgood put it in the back of the net, Grande put it wide. That's Grande. And the Chelsea fans are really sending victory now. Up to about 12 minutes of the second half. Piri to the left. Amancio operating on the wing now. The referee has given the given the free kick. They kick to be taken by Slatus. To look for Piri number four, Foka number six. Now Grosso. Getting to see Real come forward a wee bit more. I noticed that Amancio is operating quite a bit on the on the right wing, trying to get a bit more room for himself. Benetti is in no serious trouble at all. Grandy, a big fella now keeping close to Osgood. Jose Luis. Oh, look at the speed of the man. And again, it's wet there. Grosso. And the Chelsea defenders looking at the lines with a pinning for an offside decision which never came. But at last, Real are beginning to wake it up a bit. And Cook tripped. Cook beginning to raise his head, look round, see where Harry Medhurst is. There's Harry Medhurst wanting to come on, but the referee is telling Cook to get up. From the throwing, you can tell which side the locals are on. Greek official with Harry Medhurst, seeing that he gets back onto the trainer's bench. Boyle with the free kick. 
again. A tremendous jump by Benitez. Now Cook handled it. Free kick to Real Madrid. A couple of players on the far side not even having heard the whistle. Grande. Demetri on the right. thought that Grosso could have got up for that and Soko number six right up with the attack and a goal kick is given much to the horror of Real Madrid 15 minutes into the second half Real are two down and definitely showing that when it comes to appealing to the referee they really are the top Kelly of Switzerland refusing to listen to them. A goal kick to Chelsea. Cook. Now. Hudson. Now the Cook again. The wildering change of pace he's got. And again Benito, the saviour of Real Madrid. Baldwin was right behind him then. Real beginning to use the speed of this fellow, the number two, Jose Luis, charging down the right wing. He's got a Mancio there to help him too. Dempsey, scorer of the first goal. Goal that those who saw it won't forget for a long time. Here to take the throw is a Mancio. Beat by Halston to Osgood. And Real having to chase back everyone up front in an attacking position. So there was a chance for a quick break by Chelsea. But this is the sort of situation Real are in. They've got to commit themselves by going up to the attack. The gentleman limping was Amancio. Cook for Chelsea. Grande push it forward to Velasquez. Cook refusing to get himself in any sort of trouble. Chelsea really playing as if the importance of this has been dropped into them, the importance of this match. It means that they will be in Europe next year if they, uh, they win tonight to be in Europe because in this competition you do go through to defend the title unlike the Fairs Cup. Now for left. That's too high for Piri. The man they're looking for with his crosses. Piri and Soko are number six. Now Jose Luis. Not getting any force behind him. Benetti, long time he to see it. The bad clearance. Benito. Mancio. Velasquez. And then Harris fouling Amancio. Free kick to Real Madrid. The Chelsea fans perhaps spotted a little something not to their liking. They're chanting attack, attack, attack now. They mean Chelsea, not Real. Amancio with a free kick. The netty firm is always in the air. Throw to Chelsea. Grande. To Piri. Moving in with a lot of strength, not being shaken off the ball. Hudson to Hudson. 
And for win is offside. I think it's a good time with nearly 20 minutes of the second half gone to bring in Johnny Hollins once again because it looks now as if we're seeing what could be the last throw of Real Madrid. They're trying to pressurise Chelsea now just as they did in the second half on Wednesday, aren't they, Johnny? I think they've pushed up now and they're inclined to go more on attack now where they've got to. The full-backs are attacking more down the lines and this can give us more chance of giving uh, of a quick break. And uh, I think the lads are finding it a bit hard after Wednesday. It was definitely a very hard game on Wednesday. And uh, perhaps they're trying to pace it just that little bit less uh, to uh, their advantage. Now Hudson against the Baldwin. Oscar's on his right. Now Hussman. We could see from here that a little bit of a pass to the right then. Fair on the pitch, can't see it. And the referee can't allow that. The free kick inside the box. Must go outside the penalty area before it gets in play. So 25 minutes to go. Chelsea at the moment seem to be trying to conserve the stamina affairs. And number 10, Alaska. The Mansfield, Velasquez, and a splendid tackle. Goku fought for the ball madly, but a second ago, chasing back after he'd lost it to get in the tackle. Boyle. Cook. Baldwin. Osgood. And flicked away from him by Benito. Webb hanging back so that someone could knock the ball back to him when they were in trouble. Osgood. And Cook looking around seeing Harris at more space than anyone, bringing him into the game. And that was a dreadful snaggle right into the back of Baldwin by the little fellow Benito. Number eight Baldwin and Alpha wants the referee to give him some attention. Harry Meadows running around the touchline, but these referees these days, ever since the World Cup are making players get up. This might be all right, but with some of the shammers, but it's hard to see when you are shamming and when you're not. Midway through the second half, so 22 and a half minutes away from victory Chelsea, if they can hold Real Madrid. And it doesn't really matter, surely this minute does come on, because the referee always had time on. Well, he should do. Oh, Baldwin, limping away, whether he'll go off and have treatment or not. It needs to be seen. However, it's a free kick for Chelsea. Forward. Not going off. Chelsea can't afford to be playing with 10 men for any time at all. Despite the fact that two up, beginning to see something of Real Madrid at the last 10 minutes or so. Grande. Grande forward to Velasquez. Harris. Amantia. Well, St. Louis again, this fullback who keeps coming up to try and put a bit of pressure on Chelsea, but the Chelsea defense. Not giving an inch at all. They know that if they can just contain this Real side now, the European Cup Winners' Cup is theirs. Something eight. Now a chance for Chelsea to break this. They'll be content to wait for these opportunities to come with Real committed up front. 
Osman making ground on the left, running onto that one. But Benito, who's got to be centre back and sweeper now with Boko up front, committed to all out attack. Uh, Amancio. Velasquez. Status is no height at all, can't find his jump. Yes. Houseman, two Chelsea players with room over on the far side. Well, I'm going outside Houseman. Corner kick to Chelsea. And this is really is a splendid performance by Chelsea, who got way out so desperate for players like Doko, who's normally a sweeper these days, has to be thrown up in attack with Real willing to take almost any risk in the book to try and get at least one goal back. And even one goal is not enough. Weller to take the corner kick. 20 minutes left for play. 2-0 for Chelsea. Benito finding Amancio. Now Flaters. And if Real are going to do it, this is a chance, but they've asked for too much time. Three, two, Velasquez. And Webb there for the umpteen time. And stop. It was fine of panic. And how about that for a fair old bit of obstruction foul? Call it what you like. From today, he making no attempts to play the ball, just stopping Cook. Free kick to Chelsea. But the Chelsea players moving around so well, creating space for themselves. Throw to Chelsea, Houseman back to Harris. Grande to Grosso. It's beginning to look now as if Chelsea held the last desperate throw of Real Madrid. This was their big test, and it looks as if they've come through it. They've remained in command. Montenegro going to get back from Grosso. Grosso once again. Grande. This is Toco moving up into attack to Jose Luis. Amancio. And Piri. The move they use so often on Wednesday night. And on Wednesday night, Real will be given far too much room. And now look at this for a break. All good. And Benito making no effort to get to the wall at all, gives away the free kick, reckoning that's better than giving away a third goal. And so, free kick to Chelsea are being spurred on by their fans now. Simply one of the finest performances Chelsea must ever have given in Europe. The lines and slag is up for offside, but notice the goalkeeping of Benetti, having spotted that Chelsea were committed up front, coming out to reach the ball before anybody. Free kick for Chelsea. Harris keeping very close on Amancio. Now, Grandi. And it's quick to spot that pass trying to get inside him. <laughs> Chelsea have looked so much better together as a team than Real Madrid. Everybody's been working hard for everybody else. Chelsea now going to bring on young Derek Smethers.
Well, they've got a quarter of an hour to go, two substitutes to use, but now Betis for Real Madrid. He's done it, he scored! Real Madrid has, take, has scored! Betis has got one in with 15 minutes to go. And now, this really could be something of the last 15 minutes. And it's Osgood coming off. Rather on instead of Osgood. Now, will Real be able to drag themselves up again? And another substitute for Real Madrid. Of all people to go on is the great Pinto, 39 years of age. He's gone on instead of Velasquez. And so we're facing now a dramatic last 15 minutes. Real Madrid, who set victory away from Chelsea in the last minute of Wednesday night, have now scored 15 minutes from the end, so it's two goals to one. And Redhurst for Chelsea. Chelsea once again facing tremendous test of their courage. They get a corner. Osgood limping away towards the dressing room. That's the position with time and score. Osgood takes the corner kick for Chelsea. In comes Cook. Hentos challenging Houseman. Here's Hento. Played in all those wonderful European Cup wins of Real. He's fouled by Cook. Grosso with the free kick for Real. The advantage, temporarily at least, with Real Madrid at the moment. Just having got a goal to pick themselves up off the ground. A grande. Spellers has gone down hurt. De Grosso. Slater. That's the bad ball. Grosso, Hudson, Bellas limping in front of him, Cook, Bellas only just come on as a substitute for Osgood, and now busily rubbing his own leg. So to Chelsea, score, the scorers, the time, just about 12 minutes left. And time for the Real supporters to scream at their side. Chelsea facing a real set now. Corner. Chelsea using the right tactics instead of going back to hold this one goal lead. They're coming forward at Real Madrid. Tactics which worked, worked so successfully. There's young Derek Brothers, South African. Tremendous lift for him to play in the European Cup in his cup final. Ausman. And Soko getting it clear. The crowd might howl at that one, but it just at least gives Chelsea a wee bit of time. Number 15, Spethers. He seems to work out all the pain from his leg. Not running quite so badly as he was doing. Still rubbing the left knee, though. Soko with the goal kick. Again, for St. Louis. Happy to break down that right wing. Yeah. 
go to Chelsea. Cook's going to help him, and Harris there too. Cook, he's not kept it in, it's over the line, it's so to Real Madrid. Ten minutes left. Chelsea, who with two up, but looking as if they blunted Real Madrid. And now conceded a goal to 2 1. And they've conceded another free kick to Real Madrid. Say Luis to Amancio. It's Say Luis, and all the Real players moved up into attack. And Grande really should have tried a volley with that one rather than just. A side foot tap. Chelsea showing no sign of panic, playing this really coolly. Dempsey. The netting coming out of his goal to help a fellow defender out of a spot of bother. Cook. Help come on, midfield. Spellers. Couldn't really move to that one quickly enough. And Soko and Baldwin having a real push against shoving a pulling match with each other. Grande. Mancio and Jose Luis was rather a bit slow off the mark. And gives away a free kick to Chelsea. Harris to take the free kick. Grande. Piri. But he's a danger man with these crosses, but fans up. Timing not quite so good when, with that bad arm of his, Dahinto, Amancio, and Benetti quick to get right across that goal. So seven minutes left, seven or eight minutes left, Chelsea, two goals to one in the lead. Situation dramatically tense here in Athens. Feathers going close to him. And he's face for Hudson. And that one bounced very, very badly. Very badly as Feathers moved into it. Feathers to Weller. Boyle come on, coming up on the right. Go to Real Madrid. The nice one was rather indecisive in his signals then. A plate of number seven for Real Madrid. And lucky to get that rebound off Houseman. And St. Luis to Amancio. For St. Luis. Pull back. Plater. Chelsea going back to pack strongly in defense. Flatus is lying on the ground. The referee goes to have a look at Flatus. It looks like cramp. Johnny Holland's now biting his fingernails a bit. He's getting a little wee bit tense, Johnny, isn't it? He certainly is. With what? Is it five minutes to go now? That's it. Something like five minutes. It's very tense indeed. There is Amancio. Man, could do the damage if anybody could. From Benegi. The goal certainly lifted Real Madrid. They lifted themselves once before, then they seem to have faded out, but a goal by Fetus and a very good goal has lifted them once again. Now it had Mantio number eight behind him then. 
Amancio with the throw to Jose Luis. Good to see Chelsea keeping their cool and playing football to get the ball out of defence. Fine bit of chasing by Jose Luis. Hento wonders whether at his age he's got it in him to produce one of his famous old devastating runs. From Benegui, Mancio. Just a wee bit too much room then. Rocco and Boyle there for Chelsea. Good bit of running by Hudson, he's got Smethers on his right. Right. Referee waves his hand, points to the corner flag, it's a corner for Chelsea. Four minutes left for play, Chelsea in the lead, two goals to one. Four minutes by our watch, their clock says five. Look, the only one that matters is the referee. Hasman taking his time with the corner. Dempsey has gone up for this corner, but Webb has been left back. Silly for Chelsea to take any risks at all. Real's job to take the risks in this situation. Oh, and Hinter's running seven in trouble, Smithers! A full mark to the goalkeeper. Borja who didn't panic at that moment. Randy moving down the right. This is Randy. Lydia and Grosso in the middle. Borja as well. And Benetti rises to the occasion the first time he's really been under pressure. That was a fine header by Soko. Now Spellers. Through one for Baldwin. Good goalkeeping by Borja to come six yards out of his goal to give Baldwin nothing to shoot at. Slater. Damantio. Benetti. Amantio. And it's Webb who slipped away a corner. Almost a replica kind of Wednesday night when Webb popped up from nowhere to save Chelsea. And the Real trainers bench calling everybody up into attack for this grandstand finish. Hento to take the corner. And we were so near extra time then. Free kick for a foul on Benetti. That gives Chelsea precious moments. But my goodness, Real will never be nearer to scoring without having the ball in the net. Two minutes left for play. Remarkable escape for Chelsea, but they still lead 2-1. Now, have they got the skill to play this keep ball and push the ball around? Throw to Chelsea. Harris, the captain, gaining the precious second. This will do Chelsea now. There's number 16, Hento, the club captain. That's Hausman. And lovely bit of interception by Suntanegi. Now here comes Real again. It's Clayton. And again, Benetti anticipating it, waiting at the edge of his area. Thwarting any attempt by Mancio to streak clear. Toco. Grosso to Platus. And Benetti saving the corner and proving is as good as any outfield player. To Cook, a minute left for play. I should imagine that 
Chelsea hold out for the 60 seconds. The celebrations in Athens will be as wild as those, those in the King's Road. Kento, number 16. Bumpenegi. Offside. Offside given. The Bayar watch coming up to 10 seconds to go. Johnny Holland's rubbing his hands and working out that he could wait 10 seconds before he took this free kick. The Chelsea fans flinging paper up into the air. They're all standing on their feet, waiting for this final whistle. Now it's Altman. Everybody's eyes on the referee now. It's played over 45 minutes of the second half. It's injury time, any stoppage time, I can't remember any. Now, Clayton. And he slipped at that crucial moment, trying to hit it through to Amancio. That is out this a great performance by Chelsea. And it's still in play. And it's all over. The whistle has gone. Chelsea have won the European Cup with this cup for the first time in the club history. And Chelsea fans race onto the pitch. Chelsea have done what Tottenham Hotspur, West Ham United and Manchester City have done. And as the players drop their shirt, a great mix by Chelsea. They paced this game well. Tactically, they played it magnificently and a worthy reward for those worthy fans who've been able to stay over in Athens. And a word, too, for about the 3,000 who had to go back yesterday. And some of the players walking away forgetting that this match has been for the European Cup Winners' Cup. And the cup will be presented by Mr. Shandor Bart of the Hungarian Football Association after we've had the celebrations of those Chelsea fans who are now getting a tremendous reception from the sporting Greek fans and two goals to one Chelsea have won they scored after 32 minutes by Dempsey 38 minutes to Osgood a goal by Fetus after 75 minutes and now the Chelsea players all with the Real Madrid shirt just hanging round their necks Right up for the presentation of the cup by Mr. Shandor Bart. Inevitable balance of photographers that are not allowing the players to get through and the police having to get away through for, for the Real players and for the Chelsea players. In fact, most of the Real players now have gone off. Great signs of jubilation from all the Chelsea fans. And we await now the signal foot. Ron Harris walk up and get the cup. Shandor Bart, the president of the Hungarian Football Association in those great days, now hands the European Cup Winners Cup, which Manchester City held is now moved from Manchester to Chelsea. So, London has won the League Championship, the FA Cup, and now the European Cup Winners' Cup. Chelsea, although they had to give up the FA Cup, have replaced it with this European Cup. Certainly has been a tremendous victory for them. Greek soldiers at the Guard of Honor. And there is Hento. There is Hento in the background, walking towards Chelsea, no doubt to congratulate them. 
That's a collective. Battles those souvenirs. But what a great player. Hento has been. Perhaps this is the last time we'll see him in European football. But now the Chelsea players line up alongside their captain. As the fans start doing the lap of honor. I'm sure Chelsea could well do a lap of honor. There is. And the whole of the stadium rises to Chelsea, the new holders of the European Cup Winners' Cup. Certainly, Chelsea can have nothing but praise for the reception they've had here, magnificent reception for the Chelsea team and for the English fans. And here starts Chelsea's lap of honor round this wonderful Karaiskaki Stadium in Paris, just outside Athens, the seaport of Athens. And the Greeks are cheering as loudly as indeed are the Londoners. Rarely do we see signs of such jubilation on a foreign stadium with so many English people here. I would think only about 10% of the number who were here on Wednesday, but the Athenians themselves rising to Chelsea, they've seen them play splendidly tonight, deservedly win this cup, and a tremendously popular victory by the locals. While all hoping, of course, that their local team, Panathinaikos, will be doing a similar lap of honor at Wembley on June the 2nd, after the European Cup final. Scoreline once again, the European Cup for this Cup final. Chelsea 2, Real Madrid 1, the Chelsea scorers Dempsey and Osgood, the Real Madrid scorer Platos, and as Chelsea do a lap of honour and get applauded by the sporting Greek spectators, all we can say is well done Chelsea on a magnificent victory, a victory fully deserved against the most experienced European football team and Chelsea take them on and after the disappointment of Wednesday beat them tonight 2-1